Hey there, it's Josh. Welcome back to Let's Game It Out. We're checking out the coin game today, a game that's all about recreating that nostalgic feel from the 80s and 90s, where you could go to your local mall and go to the arcade, have some fun, win some tickets, get some prizes. Yeah, get in there. Oh, and also this video is sponsored by Watcher of Realms, but I'll talk about that in a little bit. I like, by the way, that we have three different modes here. We've got birthday mode, which features unlimited play at this arcade. No health, no curfews, no parents to worry about. And we've also got quick play, which pretty much just gives you access to the individual arcade games if that's all you want to play. And then it just drops you in this holodeck-like hellscape where we can play to our heart's content. Yeehaw! Oh, I don't understand how I missed that one. But of course, the thing we're interested in is survival. You know, in our relaxing game about just playing arcades casually, it wouldn't be the same if we didn't have to worry about health and energy, working odd jobs, pawning your prizes, shoveling junk food, a nightly curfew. How many days can you last? Sounds relaxing. Count me in. Oh, and here we are, waking from our drunken stupor. Is this my room? My god, this is really nice. I mean, look at this. Under the bed storage, a seating area for reading or crying, and we have our own claw machine. Oh, I get it. We're not just into arcades. We're really, really into arcades. Okay, well, great. How do I play this? Oh, looks like that's it. The thing that says insert card. You mean this card? The one I'm just holding in my hands? Looks like we've got one thing on the agenda for our lives, and it's playing arcades. Okay, let's give this thing a shot. In you go. And here in our bedroom, and we have the finest prizes, like this empty can ready to be recycled. Oh, you little bastard. Wait, why am I wasting my time doing this? This is our unit at home, which means we can just open the door right here. Much better. And now I can just pick these things up and take them out myself. No need for you, Claw. Well, I might as well not let this go to waste. Let's at least put it in our inventory. Same for all this stuff. I'm gonna siphon you into my inventory. I don't know what I'm gonna do with a bunch of garbage, but it's never stopped us before. Anyway, let's head downstairs and... Uh, hello? Can I help you? Okay. Well, this is already looking promising. Alright, let's follow it and... Oh, what's that? Is that my watch? Is that your watch? No, it's Watcher of Realms. Let me ask you something. Do you like fantasy? What about high stakes battles with razor sharp graphics? What about a bunch of rich and diverse strategy gameplay, including one of my personal favorites, Tower Defense? Well, then buckle up because Watcher of Realms is coming in hot. Free to play for Android and iOS. This is a game where you're going to spend a lot of time delving into deeply strategic gameplay that's easy to pick up, but will take a little longer to master. And that's okay because you're looking at tons of fun along the way as you amass an army of unique heroes as you roam all over the world seeking new challenges, new stages, new commanders, new rewards, new everything. And you get to do all this surrounded by lush graphics and beautiful set pieces. And I don't know about you, but I have a multi-decade love for tower defense stuff. And there's plenty of that here to go around. Not just tower defense, by the way. There's also tons of real-time battling too. And you're gonna need that when you're plowing through tons of bad guys, as well as bulking up your heroes and collecting the best gear. Oh, and here's the big news. The game is just launching, like right now. And to celebrate this huge launch, Watcher of Realms is featuring two top influencers to go head to head. And you can choose a team to support and participate in the competition for a chance to win incredible real life stuff like iPhones and Switches. So if this sounds good to you and you're ready to watch some realms for yourself, check out the link in the description or scan this QR code and get playing for free today. And thanks again to Watcher of Realms for sponsoring. Okay, let's head on down downstairs and get the day started. Surely nothing's gonna be weirder than that duck, right? Well, the plot thickens. Is this my mom? Mom droid? Am I in hell? Was I abducted by aliens? What the hell is happening here? Wait, am I a robot too? Nope, I'm a good old fashioned human it looks like. Well, either way, I see left click for grab and what can we do with that? Oh good, we can just drag this nesting doll on wheels around. Well, they don't seem too upset by it. This does make me ask so many questions though. Why do we have chairs? How do you reach that pot up there? What do you do all day? Did you used to have arms? Oh god, I can't take it. I gotta calm down with some stuff in the fridge. Ah, good old fashion soda. I'm sure that having a couple of these will calm the nerves or give me energy and hurt me. I better drink the entire six pack right now. Okay, let me make sure I understand this clearly. We're now at about 50% health, but our energy is looking pretty good. And also, what is this thing with the gun? Oh, is this, do I, I have a gun? Hey grandma, look out.
Oh, it's a rubber band gun. Well, now I don't feel bad at all. Well, whatever. Let's finish ransacking our place. Let's see if we can warm up one of these TV dinners. Into the microwave, you. Oh, right. I forgot to open the door. In you go. Let's see if we can use this to get our health back up. So my understanding is we have a couple of goals here. One, play arcade games and make enough money to keep playing arcade games. Two, don't run out of health. Three, don't run out of energy. Four, don't be late for your curfew. I believe if we don't make curfew, this incredibly able-bodied robot punishes us. Although I'm not sure how because I can just grab them and drag them around. So I guess we just have like a gentleman's agreement about it. Anyway, time to eat this delicious looking meal. Mmm, <laughs> delicious. Tray and everything. Whatever, let's get out of here. Behold, the wild world of smoggy suburbia. Ah, what a lovely place. Again, I just want to point out how into arcades we are. What well, with this custom plaque we have. Not to mention one of these drink dispensers. As well as these that are clearly just for show. You'd have to go outside for this. Ugh, no thank you. And this looks to be a map of the entire town. Let's see, that's us. And there's one of the arcades. And before we get into the mix of this stuff, I'm just kind of curious. What happens when we try to leave? So let's just grab our trusty bike here and off we go. All right, now we're cruising. Let's see what's coming up. I'm assuming the game isn't going to let us leave. Wait for it. Let's see what we have. Oh, just as we thought. Ow. Ah, yes, I see. More honest to God human beings letting me know that I shouldn't go over here because there's some kind of tanker accident that involves the National Guard. Or is there? Or from over here, can I just go anyway? Damn you guys and your magical powers and invisible walls. You leave me no choice but to try to swim our way down. Ow. Okay, and... You know, I'm starting to doubt whether we're human or not. Because it turns out not only can we not swim, we just hang out at the bottom of the ocean. As you do. Oh, and also the invisible wall is still down here. Whatever. This is a good death. Blah! Whoops, I guess that was a bad move. Anyway, let's go check out the local town. It kind of looks like we live in like a nature preserve. And I'm just oh so confused that we have like cars and stuff. But I'm pretty sure all the people are these things. And I also couldn't help but notice that it's incredibly sunny outside for being 1242 AM. Now, Josh, don't forget to look both ways before you cross the street. You wouldn't want to cross until there's a car directly coming so that we can test if there's damage or not. Oh, there is. Oh, oh, and oh. Well, thanks for the ride. Oh, God, why am I so injured now? And why are you all such a nightmare? Excuse me, what did you just say to me? I will not sit here and be treated this way. Looks like you need to learn some manners. We're gonna drag you right in front of this car. Excuse me, how dare you bounce away unscathed? So I guess you're just gonna keep coming with me. And now I'm jumping because I realize that you can jump a lot faster than walk. Oh my god, speaking of jumping, I just realized something. If we take this guy and we jump on top of him, and then we just keep jumping, because we're holding on to them, we keep pulling them closer to us, and we can just keep jumping higher and higher. It's a little finicky, of course. But once you get the hang of it, you can just surf this guy anywhere you want. And now I have to know how high the game is gonna let us go. Well, our friend disappeared, but that doesn't seem to have stopped me from just walking on air. And I see that structure over there, so I guess we should go take a look and see what it is. Oh, oh, where am I? Oh, the game's trying to protect me from myself. That's okay. There's more where that came from. Come on, Viking friend. Let's go on a journey. Whoa, oh, 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 losing our footing. Oh, we're okay, thank goodness. That's okay, we can just get going again. Oh, no, not again. This is all your fault. If it weren't for you, we'd be up in the sky right now with... Oh, is that the previous person I was riding around? This could be your fate too. You... Hey, get back here. Hold still, we're going for a ride straight up this time. Okay, now we need to confirm. If we take these guys too high up and then the game snaps me back to the ground, do these guys just end up staying up here? Oh, well, they're gone. And I appear to be jumping on nothing. What happens if I stop jumping? I break my legs, that's what. Well, I suppose if nothing else, it's still a really convenient way to get around. Oh, uh, <laughs> where are we? Well, it looks like we've been teleported into one of the building interiors. Excellent. But it's not completely abandoned. For some reason, there's a pile of perfectly good snacks here. And boy, am I famished. Down the hatch, you all go. Okay, so let me guess where we are right now. Based on how everything looks around here, I'm gonna say that this is one of the arcades. And my reason for saying that, of course, is I believe this creepy shadow here is where the arcade machines are supposed to be. But seeing as how there's nothing else we can really do in here, I guess there's no harm in trying the front door, right?
Well, here I am. Although I'm not exactly sure where here is. I mean, we're definitely still standing outside of the arcade. Although I have this sneaking suspicion we're not supposed to be out here. And neither are you, weird forklift guy. Okay, so here's what I think is happening. I think we're standing on the outside of what is supposed to be just the interior of this arcade. But I was on the outside part of the map before. Then I went through the door and now I'm on the inside. But we're on the outside now. Thus, we see this really weird world. Oh, and what do we have here? What's with the bats, sir? Are we supposed to do battle? Because I have other ideas. Yes, come here. How about I use you to just get up on the roof? Come on, come on. Okay. And you can come with me if you want. Just, uh, just calm down. Or disappear entirely. It's all the same to me. Now we have a much better vantage point of what's happening here. I'm willing to bet all these other random things are the interiors of all these buildings. So the question is, what can we do while we're out here? Besides find these random roof sodas and give them a quick swig. Let's see, what happens if I just jump off? Oh, it just sticks me back here. Okay. Also, what the heck is this thing? Wait a minute. Lotto scratchers. Well, count me in. We'll just do this one and then this one. My God, I'm so excited. All we have to do is match three and we have- Oh my God, we won $40. Because we're children, that makes us rich. And this door doesn't even work anymore. So we're gonna have to find another way out, it looks like. Let's see, easy. Go along the side of the building. There's another door. Let's try it out. Oh, thank goodness. Here we are back in reality at Larry's Arcade. Well, I guess since we're here we should check out the machines you know to see if we can make some money off these so this looks like one where we just need to hook onto the thing to hook that thing onto those to get those tickets but for five dollars it seems like a lot well i guess let's play it and see how many tickets it gives us okay so i guess we just move the thing and then we hold down the button and then we select the one we want and this looks like the best prize so we're gonna go for this one son of a okay take two give me some tickets please Yay, we did it. And come here, you. Okay, that gave us 1,000 tickets, which I am now holding oh so proudly. Okay, let's go over to the counter here. Nice googly eyes. Oh, not enough tickets. Uncounted tickets must be counted in the ticket eater. Okay, fine. Okay, let's see. If I were a ticket eater, that's where I would be. Hello. Oh, yeah, there we go. Right out of my crotch into the machine. It's like I'm peeing tickets. Oh, boy. We can buy one whole glow stick, one stuffed coin, a paddle ball, and then a bunch of other stuff I can't possibly afford. Okay, so at least we have some kind of ideas what this will get us. Oh, and look, another claw machine. Ball edition. And if that doesn't strike your fancy, we've got claw machine Larry's edition that gives us creepy letters with, I think, ticket values. Ah, uh, yeah, that's exactly what it is. So in theory, this is a better deal because it's $1. And if you can get one of these S's, it's worth 500. I have an idea. I want to try something. First off, let's use the claw machine to hopefully secure us. I don't know, just any letter. It doesn't really matter to me. Yeah, just get in there, dig in deep and grab me something. Well, that's a lot of something all right. It didn't all necessarily make it, but in the end it worked out. Okay, so now I detached from the machine, but the time is still going. I have a thought. Can I take one of these letters and instead of pulling it out, can I just bring it? Yep, I can bring it back up into the machine. Damn it, the game's ahead of me on that one. We can't interact with anything else besides that one. Actually, wait, I have another idea. Let's bring all of my other pieces in here too. So I won four pieces and I'm just dropping them back into the machine. When I start up another game, oh, did you see that? Everything kind of bounces around. Well, now I'm curious of something. Now, first of all, get in there and grab some more. Yeah, Yes, that seems like a nice batch that I cannot believe is actually being carried over. Color me completely surprised. And look at that. More pieces get dropped in. And now if I take these pieces and put them back in the machine. That's right. Each and every one of these. What are you looking at? Don't watch me play this. This is for my eyes only. Anyway, where was I? That's right. Doing another game and watching everything shake around. Basically, what I'm trying to do is win so many of these little letters that all of my own actual pieces are just everywhere. But it's going to require me to accumulate a lot more of these things. So give me a second while I keep playing this game. Okay, we've got a couple of letters set aside here. You might also notice that it says paused at the bottom of the screen. And yet here I am playing the game. That's because while I was messing around with this, I discovered a really nice bug. So if you head on over to the local gas station here, you can buy a bunch of those lotto scratchers like the ones we found. And I discovered after you're done scratching the thing, doesn't matter if you win or lose, if you hit escape after, it brings up the menu. But then the game automatically brings the scratcher down so you can continue playing the game. But the game remains paused. And it's really handy. Andy, because now time is stopped. And that also means my health and energy don't go down. And we never get closer to curfew. Ah, it feels good to be sort of immortal. Anyway, back to this claw machine. As mentioned, all of these items don't have physics until you put your card in the slot. And I've been winning over all these letters just so I can shove them back into the machine. And I do that with enough of them. Here's what happens when I start the game up. 
Oh, it wasn't that exciting. It kind of stirs everything back up. Now, obviously, that in and of itself isn't really that useful. But I have this feeling that if we shove enough of these in there, something magical can happen. So let's get to work on shoving all of these back into the machine. So now that these are all in here, let's give this a shot and see what happens. Oh, yeah, that was pretty good. And then I think if we kind of just grab our pieces and stir everything around again and then do it again. Oh, yeah. Oh, wow. Everything kind of moved to the front for some reason. The claw machine can't even get on top of them. And this is kind of my hope that we get it so full that the pieces have no choice but to just fall out of the hatch. Yeah, kind of like that. But we're not done yet. We're only halfway full. There's still much more time to do more. So hold, please. Okay, I can't be sure, but I feel like we're hitting maximum occupancy. And even if I move the little claw thing around, I mean, it definitely can't do anything. Anything. Here, watch. Let's give it a chance. Let's push it down again. Wow, game working as intended, no question. I mean, I feel pretty good about this. That's all I know. Wait, does this work on everything? Can I do it on this one, too? Well, what are we waiting for? Let's find out. And it turns out the answer is yes. Yes, you can. But it can do something even better than fill this thing to capacity. You might notice all the crap on the ground. And that's because to clear space, I've been taking these little plastic balls and just rolling them out onto the ground. Otherwise, the thing gets too full. And if these things can't drop all the way down the chute, it doesn't spawn more of these. So I've just been rolling and rolling and so much rolling. And now these things are just everywhere. And I honestly don't even know how these things got everywhere. I certainly didn't push them around. They just found their way here naturally. And I really don't think there's a limit to how many of these things you can make. And really the only thing that's stopping us from testing if there is a limit is that I just don't have the money to keep spawning them. But don't worry, there's still a lot we can do. For example, did you know that most of these machines are not actually airtight? Here, let me give you an example. This machine machine has a jackpot of 3,607 tickets. And the way we would get that is by landing on that little jackpot spot right there. So we could sit here, play the game like normal, and wait for a chance for one of these balls to bounce down and hopefully land on the mega jackpot. But more than likely, they're not going to. They're going to land on one of these outer ones. Oh boy, lucky me, 18 tickets. So let's see if we can hedge our bets a little bit. First, we're just going to take one of these things, hold it up in the air, and then mash it against the side until it finds a way to get inside of it. Ta-da! And then we can just force the ball to sit inside each and every one of these holes. And so now all we need to do is that a whole bunch more times. Oh uh, yeah, there we go. That's more like it. Everything's all covered up now, except for maybe the jackpot spot. Or it's supposed to be. Get out of the way. That's for the real ball to go. Okay, let's give this a shot and see what happens. Uh, wow, that was just a slam dunk right into the pile, wasn't it? Okay, here we go. Trying it again. You know, I didn't think to take into account that the ball was going to fly in at rocket speeds and then promptly get stuck, unable to go anywhere. Honestly, in my mind, that's still a win because now nobody can play it. And it works on all kinds of stuff, too. Like, how many times have you wanted to go up to a skee-ball machine and just mess around like this? Like, it's not even making us better at the game or increasing our odds of success. It is, however, making it worse for everybody. And that's what I like the most. Isn't that right? Yeah, get out of here. If I look over to the side, there's usually at least one person watching, and then they get terrified when they see me looking at them and they just run off. Presumably so they can go write an article about the local hero that liberated the arcade. All right, things are sufficiently clogged, and that means it's time to play. Huh. Success! This works with piles of tickets, too. Like, I can take these tickets over to the Ticket Redemption Center, put it off to the side, and then a quick flick, and now they're inside. This is probably sending a confusing message, but whatever. It's not my arcade, and it's also not gonna stop us from grabbing a bunch of these things and redeeming some tickets. How many tickets are all around here, by the way? Who knows? Who cares? I only need some of them to do the thing I wanna show you. If we were to look at the prizes here, there's all kinds of fun random stuff we could get, but I'm gonna focus on getting this salt rock lamp, because there's another thing I wanna show you I figured out. Out. Okay, so there it is. Nobody touch my lamp, please. And now we're gonna take this thing, and we're gonna take it all the way to... What the hell is with the weather out here? Isn't this supposed to be 10 in the morning? Oh god, stopping time has started to unravel the universe. Good, let us continue. Anyway, here's how I get around now. I don't take one of these things and use them as a hoverboard like I could. Because it turns out while you're holding on to one of these guys, you're also impervious to damage. So why use my stupid legs when I could just have these vehicles push me for me? Yeehaw! Oh wait, that's where I want to go. Hey, thanks for the help. Anyway, here we are at Barry's Pawn Shop, the place that's gonna solve all of our pawn shop needs. So let's go inside and check this out. Ah, here we are in the pawn shop. That looks surprisingly not like a pawn shop, and more like a rundown abandoned post office. That's okay, the only thing we need to worry about is this. The chute that we throw stuff into to pawn it. Here, let me show you an example. If I take these gumballs here, pick them up and shove them into the machine, it lets us know that we will get 50 cents. And when I push this gigantic button, we can watch the window come down, and all that stuff gets shredded up, and then we get our giant coin 
representing 50 cents. What a bargain. And now I can't make money just doing it with these things because buying these cost a dollar. But we are going to use these things to help us accomplish something even more exciting. Remember our glorious friend, the salt lamp? Well, it turns out this thing gets us $20. And I could just pawn this one and then head back, get more tickets, and keep buying more and more of these. But that's a lot of work, so we have a much better idea. Instead, if we just push the button and then shove the lamp in really quick before the door closes, and then once it's in there, oh my goodness, look, we got paid out for the $20 plus the 50 cents. And yet, I'm still holding the lamp. What a deal. Mmm, giant, probably chocolate coin and sweet, sweet Monopoly money. And all we have to do is do that over and over. Such easy cash. Isn't that right, Salt Lamp? It sure is, Josh. Oh my god, we can have infinite money together. You're right, Salt Lamp, we can. Wait, 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 wait. Aww. Well, I didn't hold on tight enough, and there goes the lamp. The good news is, I think we made enough money. And then some. Mmm. Money from nothing. I love it. Oh, hey, and look, it's daytime outside again. And everything is looking clearly as it should be. Anyway, now that we've got our ill-gotten gains, let us go to the next arcade. The local shopping mall. Oh, boy, I'm so excited. Thanks, random citizen, for helping keep my legs from shattering. Okay, in we go. Oh, it's just like the big mall near my house. Virtually abandoned. I do love the little details, though. Like the fact that the jewelry shop is right here on the corner. Like every mall I've ever been in. Not to mention the gigantic vats of candy. Oh, there it is. Arcade Castle. Let's go take a gander. Well, it's a pretty big, exciting place. All kinds of fun classics like whatever this thing is. Not to mention air hockey and this basketball thing. But this is the one that's caught my eye because it looks like you can win some prizes. And I love anything where it drops out of the chute and I can probably shove it back in. So let's see what we can do. First, let's try to grab this thing the normal way which is kind of a pain, but it doesn't mean I'm not going to keep trying. And one day I might get it. Finally. Yes, grab it by the neck, just like you're supposed to. Okay. And like everything else, another one pops into its place. Okay, now here comes the fun. Let's bring this one back up here. Oh my God, this newly spawned one has collision. Can I just shove it into the chute? Come on, get in there. Okay, what happens next? Oh my god. Oh my god, they just keep respawning on their own. Wait, and I can go between both of these machines? Oh good, I don't even need to play the game anymore. I can just keep shoving cows down here and new ones spawn in? Well, shiver me timbers, aren't I excited? Wait, if I take one of these things and then shove it into this other machine, will that work here too? Oh no! And by that I mean, oh yes. All of these piles of tickets can be for us. And these cows are especially great, because they're big, bulky, and you can shove them in other arcades. Please do not put items into the machines. The owner said that's your last warning. Fat chance. Just try me. You were warned enough times. Next time you lose your item. Well, thankfully, there's more where that came from. Well, I think I know what I'm going to spend the rest of my time in this mall doing. Enhancing every arcade experience with a little bit of cow. I want to thank Watcher of Realms again for sponsoring this video. It just came out, and if you want to check it out for yourself, there's a linky down in the description. So I hope you had fun. I know I did, and I'll see you next time.